Hello everyone, this is Jeep Masco from Wide Focus Production, Wide Focus to the World. Welcome to my tutorial and here we're going to learn Adobe about Adobe Premiere Pro. Well, well, welcome. Hey guys, karibu, karibu, karibu sana. So today we're going to do Adobe Premiere Pro. Adobe, <coughs> sorry, Adobe Premiere Pro. This is Adobe Premiere Pro 2015. And actually, there's no different with Adobe 2020, 2019, 17. So we're going to do this. And this is a tutorial where I'm going to train you on Adobe tools, how to use these Adobe tools. So in our project panel, we have our clips. I know, I think uh, I'm just imagining that you have your clips and also you will follow me in everything that I do. We are going to edit, try to show you example with the wedding that I did. Uh, this was a church wedding that we did some times back. So I'm going to show you how to use this, these tools. Most of the people maybe have challenge on how to use Adobe Premiere Pro tools. So I'm going to show you how to use these tools and uh, shortcuts on these tools. So let's get started. So we'll go and uh, take my clip. First, I will double click on my clip and it will open in the source panel. In the source panel, I will try to look on uh, the place where I want to capture. So the shortcut of capturing over uh, selecting a, a, a video, a video area, maybe you, want, you only want to work with that area you don't want to work with the entire area of the video so you want to work with this area so i will i will click on i that means in that input then i will choose my output so I want it to end at this this point where this guy is kind of like telling uh, his fellow something. Then I will click on O. That is shortcut in the keyboard. Then I don't want. If you want the video and the audio, you will basically drag from here. You will drag from here to your clip panel. Sorry. My clip panel is off. I will drag this. Sorry for that. So I will drag it to my timeline. So I have two. I have my video and I have my audio. But for example, if you don't want the audio, you will come here and take this guy here. Drag video only. So I will drag video only and I have my video. And if you want audio only, you will drag this guy here. Drag audio only. And you have audio only that is if you are working with audio then in this case I want to drag video because I want to show you the tools and I don't want distraction of the audio I don't want uh, so many clips that will contradict the tutorial so I will take clip one I will come again and take clip two so I will take the clip and want to so I will start from there. So I will click I. Then I will leave it to play to that place. Then click O. That means output, input, output. So it means that I will only take this area that is selected and I will drag my video here. So first, you see the video is too large for the frame. So I will come and highlight. Just make sure you use. That is where we start our using our tools. So number one tool, we have track selection tool. This is a selection tool, just like uh, the one you use in Photoshop Illustrator. So we will, but it's different kind of uh, the usage is different in Adobe Premiere Pro. So here it is used to select the, 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 the project that you, the video project that you are using. So I can drag the project through 
a selection tool can bring it on top i can bring it down here using this project i can i can select one project and drag it i can bring it downward topward only if you have a space a layer in the bottom you can drag it in the bottom for example this video was here because we have video layers on the bottom side i can drag it on the bottom side but i can't drag it lower than that level because this area belongs to audios audios this is this is the these layers are for videos the bottom layers layers are for audios so you cannot drag video in the audio panel then we have our next track selection forward we have our track selection forward track selection backward in adobe 2020 they are combined in one folder so you have to select you have to press and hold to see it but in 2015 they are just outside we have forward we have backward so let us come into our clip and zoom then if we come to track selection forward the work of track selection forward you see it will only select the the, the, the you see the layers are pointing forward so it will only select the forward the front the front video in this case it will select all the videos why is it selecting the two videos when it is in white color it means that it has selected all the videos it's because it's pointing on the two videos that are in front of the direction tool here this direction tool here so when we point it here it will only select this video look at this because it is only seeing this video in front when we select it from here it will select double uh, double clips because it is seeing the two clips in front then from there we have the double clips you can move it you can play with it but let us go to track selection backward when you click on the backward selection it will only select this because on the backward side it is only seeing this video let us come here when we click here it will select both clips because on the back side we only have two clips you see so front you see here it will select both because it is pointing on the double clips backward all one so that is the work of track selection backward and track selection front if we come to ripple edit tool the work of ripple edit tool i want you to look at the video so our video we have two videos here we have this video and we have this video here these are two different video clips so the work of uh, the work of a uh, ripple edit tool is look at what happens we want to select if you want to select where your video start from look at what happens in the video the first video will remain still we are selecting where the second videos you should come in from so what will change is the time but we will not cut anything so look look so i just looking for a kick place something that is happening so look someone there that guy here is raising his hands up look so i want to show you so when the first clip finishes to play then this guy here will be pointing us so look at what happens let us play that is it look at here that is it now if you want to if you want to bring this one we can also select where this one start from so let me let us look at that guy is trying to dance start the dance 
start the dance from there so what does that mean so when he starts the dance then this guy will be pointing up so let us play our clip and see you see when they start the dancing on the other side that is it now that is the work of ripple edit tool it selects a video area a specific video area where you want your clips where you want your clips to read on the time frame then next we have rolling edit tool we have rolling edit tool the work of rolling edit tool it's a clip also a power, very powerful clip but i don't use it mostly so look at what happens but now the difference between uh, uh, ripple and uh, ripple edit tool and rolling tool is that ripple edit tool only selects a single clip and show you the direction of the single clip while the rolling clip show you the two clips where they are going to change so look at this so we have here look on the program panel look at what happens so we want it to start from there so look at what will happen i've make the changes in the both tool look if you want it to start from somewhere where these guys are kind of saying something then it will start from there you look then let us play see then it's bouncing then now you know the difference between ripple and rolling now let us go to the next red stretch tool now this is simple red stretch tool it will only uh, select a tool and stretch you want to stretch this to be longer it will stretch it to be longer you want to make it shorter it will make it shorter when you look at the time here it will show you how long it is we're making it shorter let us go to the, our next clip, which is now Razor Tool. Razor Tool is used by everyone who is using Adobe Premiere Pro. The work of a Razor Tool is just to cut a clip. Maybe you can decide to cut a part that you don't want. Maybe we were running this clip. Then look at this. Look at this. We don't want this part here because there because uh this this part these guys look bored so we just wanted to start from this part so we'll take razor tool and point it on that part that you want to cut and click so you notice there is a line in between that means that you've cut that so select the part you want to cut and press delete also you can select it right click and uh, and clear then we have we don't have that part and now we have this part you see the other part was not entertaining so this part is kind of entertaining and these guys are very happy dancing so we have these two parts so using this selection toolbar I can highlight it will give you a highlight box then select both of them when they are in white it means they're all selected they are all selected bring them drag them back and now our clips can start from that point you see wow what a wonderful clip I am oh now you can also cut so very small sizes very very small sizes very small sizes and if you've mistakenly cut a clip you can also control z you can redo 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 till you come to the original clips also 
you can cut a clip one two then you minus this you don't want that part then just come and point on the, the, the on the space and delete again and they will merge together the next clip is slip tool what is the work of a slip tool the work of a slip tool is to show you where exactly is just to change the time on the on the on the on the program line on the on the time frame so that the entry and the outro can be different so when we do that it will not give a space in between the clips so see look at that look at that nice so it will not give a space in the in between and leave a gap it will just direct you on to what is going to happen let us just try to match the two the two clips and see if the if this car will kind of fade the way we want look at that then let us see the car nice what a nice what a nice clip what a nice tool that is it then the next clip we have slide tool the work of a slide tool is just to show you exactly it's just the same is just to move the clip you see we have a space we can slide this we have a space slide it then if you slide it this one but if you slide it from the from the uh from the starting part it will give a gap if you slide this from the end part it will give a gap if you slide it from the center part it will slide it and create close the gap if we slide this one it will not give a gap because it is stretching it's like um it's like stretching the, the the video to give you a space whereby you the joints whereby you want the the, the centers or the the, the 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 end point where you want to connect your clip ah nice the next clip is a pen tool pen tool is a bit tricky i will show you in the next tutorial the next clip is hand tool hand tool is a very powerful tool for example we have this clip here let me make it a hundred percent very big and we use hand tool to move the tool to move the video look at this we are moving the video the video is too too blurry because it is not uh, quality it has been stretched too much so look at this look 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 at this that is the work of hand tool to move to move the video to the direction where you want that is the work of hand tool it will only help you not here it will only help you to move the video so let us bring it to fit to screen the next one is zoom tool so the work of a zoom tool is to zoom a working area that you want to work on for example if i click on alt it will minus and just just uh roll the top mouse roller roll it roll obviously you have a rolling wheel on your mouse you can roll it while touching while holding on alt so roll then if i leave halt it will be now rolling back into zooming out zooming in bigger smaller this one will direct you and also you can click on this part or this part as a short form of rolling now that is how we do what we do now how that is how we work with our adobe premiere pro tools and uh, please make sure you subscribe to my channel likes and drop a comment there in case you want me to change on something or you want me to help you on something i will be so much grateful to help you thank you